Hi lovelies, it's Dawny P here and welcome to my video today and also to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time over here, um, a huge welcome to you and hope that you find not just this video but the other videos that are on here useful and um, also if you've got any questions just pop them in the comment section and I'll do my very best to answer them or ping me a quick email or a, um, a direct message, something on Facebook. And um, again, I'll do my very best to answer them for you. So um, if you saw the uh, Create and Craft show on Monday, the 27th of September, you'll have seen me um, using the uh, Creative Expressions Christmas Critters um, stamp sets. One of the cards that we did was this slider card here. Now, because of time constraints, we didn't really have time to go into the actual putting together of this card. So what I said I'd do is I'd put this video together to sort of take a bit of a breather and we can go through things at a, you know, a bit of a slower pace. So what I've done is I've broken it down into um, sections. So this is the beginning, obviously, the introduction. Um, we're going to go on to um, what you actually need and I'll go through the measurements and then at the end we'll assemble everything together so i'll put the timings um below and also the sizes as well so you don't have to remember them or write them down they'll be they'll be in the description okay so that's the first bit and we'll go over to what we actually need OK, so this is the next bit and this is um, where we're going to cover what you need, the sizes that you need, uh, what I've used. And um, and then when we finish this bit, we'll move on to um, putting it all together. So what you need, um, general supplies, um, some three millimeter um, foam tape, pencil and a ruler, a pair of scissors and some glue. I've used Cosmic Shimmer, um, which I've decanted into this bottle. Um, I just find it easier to, you know, getting into all the little nooks and crannies. And then for the actual um, paper and card, um, this started out in life as a six by six card and I've cut this down. All these measurements are going to be in millimetres, but don't worry about trying to remember them or write them down. I've popped them in the description box, so which I hope will make it easy for you. OK, so I've cut this down and this now measures 148 millimetres by 116 then we've got a piece of um, i've just kept it very plain very generic black and white spotty card you can make your own backgrounds for this um anything that you want really um this measures 138 millimeters by 110 and then we've got a piece of black card um use something quite sturdy for this um i think this is 300 gsm um and that measures 128 millimeters by 88 then you need um, a piece of red. I've used red card here and that measures 120 millimetres by 50. And then you need um, a scrap of white card, which measures um, 116 millimetres by 22. I'll explain what the marks are in a second. And then for the, the actual pull, this measures 165 millimetres by 42. And what I've done with that one, I've gone ahead and I've stamped the sentiment on the end. And then finally, the stars of the show are little images. So these are the three I've used from the set. Very, very easy to colour because all your black solid um, bits are ready done for you. They're actually on the stamp. So all I've done is I've used um, some yellow for his beak and his feet and the same there and then I've given him a red and white spotty car a uh, scarf sorry and the same for the gift box that he's poking out of here red and white very plain and simple and this gift box here I've just colored it in red and I've added with a 12 size 12 micron pen some little black dots okay that's those now let's move those to one side and we're going to use this and this this is the 12 the um the black card 128 by 88 and the white card which is 116 by 22 what you need to do is you need to find the center on both sides the long side and the short side 
and join those Give, put a little mark and join them together so you end up with a cross like so i found these already i'm just going to join them together on here so just draw a line there hard to see with a pencil on black card but i hope you can see it okay and the reason i do this is it it just makes it easier to find the center okay now we need to cut um a bit out of this card but we want it to be central so if you take this piece of white that we've done and you line it up like so, so we're lining all these lines up and then you draw around it, just draw around it like so. Like that. And then this bit here, you need to cut out. Either using a craft knife or you can put your scissors in there and keep trimming or you can use your trimmers, whatever. But you need to end up with a piece like this. Don't worry about the pencil marks on here because we can keep those on the back and no one's ever going to see them. And this little piece here, keep it as a template because if you're going to use this again and again, make some more of these, you've, you've, that's part one of it already done. OK, so we've got everything we need now. And we'll move on to the next bit, which is putting it all together. OK, so let's put all this together. So first things first, we're going to stick our um, black and white card onto our um, base card. And as I say, I'm just going to use a bit of Cosmic Shimmer Glue on here, like so. And that's going to go on there. Hopefully I'll get that in the middle. It's not guaranteed with me. That's that. Now the next thing is this piece here. And that's going to go, going to end up there. But belt and braces, just check with that, this piece here. Because this is going to hide the ends of the red, the edges of the red rather. So yeah, that's okay. And... Let's glue that down. Whoop. Dropsy. It's going to go on there. While it's still wet, I'll try and get this in the centre, but while it's still wet, I'll put that on there. And then if I need to move it, I can do, but that seems OK. And then we're going to take our little gift. Well, we'll do that bit in a second. I'm jumping ahead. Apologies. Now we're going to stick this piece down. And what we want for this is we want our foam tape. So I'm just going to cut a piece of foam tape. I'm going to cut it down the middle like so and hope my scissors don't let me down here. Now, when you stick this down, stick it away from this edge, OK? Um, what you can do is you can pop that on there. And what you need to do is, let's make sure that is that's sort of central sort of central like so so what you want to do is make sure that this is like so and not the, the, moving this in and out it's not going to interfere the, the foam tape's not going to interfere like so see so we can now move that in and out and that's okay you also want to put um, a small piece on this end here so just a small piece which is going to act as like a break if you will can go on there okay now let's take the backing tape off those like so and because I've got wonky eyes I will just add a little bit of wet glue on there so if it's not straight first time I can um, I can move it about a little bit and then that's going to go I don't want to see that white. We do actually do black tape, and with hindsight, I should have used that. Let's get that in the middle, like so. Okay. And then this is the moment of truth. Get your slide a bit and pop that in there, and it should. There we go. It's not going anywhere. Okay. While that's in, move that out of the way, and we're going to glue down our little present. 
I want the present there so it's revealed when you um, move the the slide mechanism let's just pop you here at a jaunty angle like so and that's it make sure that's stuck down because we don't want the sliding mechanism to um, lift it to move it um, now for our penguin we just want to add our glue down the center there like so so we don't want it to go on the slide on this slide mechanism it's just got to go on this bit of card here so just make sure he's on there and it's not anywhere else okay that's fine and then this little cheeky chap what we're going to do with him we're going to add a square of foam tape on here and that's going to be stuck on here you can see little marks because i made a mistake on the first one so he's going to go on there okay let's take the backing tape off him pop him on there and again make sure that the foam pad only sits on the this white card here because what we want to do is um he, he we that as you pull in the um the slide a bit we want him to move to his mate like that see Whee! and then we can see the present underneath okay and that's it that's how easy they are to um to put together so i hope that's um you found that useful and you know why not have a go if you do make any send me a link so i can come and have a nosy i'm very nosy and um i like to see what people have done as i say i've kept this really plain you can um you can there's an awful lot more you can do to this you can change this you can change this the card i did on air this one i used um some of the stamps in the set to make my card here um you could do the same with this set here you could you could actually cover this with um little the little presents um and you could also add um put, punch a hole there and add a piece of string or something twine some jute or something to um to pull that out so thank you ever so much for stopping by today and i hope to see you again soon with another video Take care, stay safe, bye.